Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at this from Arctic. It's the Alpine 17CO, which basically means it's a compact cooler. It's for socket 1700 Intel motherboards only, and it's continuous operation. Okay, on the front of the box, it tells you it's Arctic. You can see a small diagram of the actual cooler as well. You've got the Alpine 17CO. It tells you it comes with MX4 thermal compound, which is pretty good compound. And it's got that six year warranty on there as well. And just remember, CO stands for continuous operation. And the 17 really stands for it works on socket 1700 motherboards, which if you don't know, that's the Alder Lake motherboards. On the back of the side of the box, it tells you about the support and features, gives you a QR code, which will take you to the support website. You've also got a QR code, which will take you to the online manual, which is pretty good. And that's multilingual. And on the other side, you've got the specifications. For example, it tells you that the fan is 92 millimeters and it goes between 250 and 2700 RPM. Inside the box, there isn't much. There's a bit of cardboard packaging. The cooler itself, which does have a plastic bit on the bottom to stop you knocking the thermal paste. OK, let's have a quick look at the cooler itself. So you can see it's got five blades. The mounting is along the top and around the edge of the actual fan with a big metal or aluminium heatsink underneath. I don't see any sign of copper there. Let me just have a look. If there is, I don't see any copper in there, unfortunately. But it gives you a rough idea of what it looks like. The cable is 22 centimetres long, which should be more than long enough uh, to connect up to a, well, basically a PWM fan connector, which is going to, or should be, right next to your CPU. Uh, if not, you're doing something wonderful and weird. Otherwise, it's the standard push down pressure mounts like you get on the Intel coolers, pretty straightforward. Now, if we compare that to a stock Intel cooler, what comes with an Intel 12400 processor, which is an i5 processor, this is what it looks like. So just to give you a rough idea. So this is a stock cooler. As you can see, it does seem to be a bit more lower profile. Uh, it looks fairly similar, but the actual fan is sort of pushed down into the fins rather than being above the fins and blowing down onto them. So if that will make much of a difference, but the Intel one does have a copper base in comparison to the Arctic one, which I do not think it has. We'll uh, examine that more in a few minutes. Also, the Intel one is roughly 350 grams. So 349, it's picking up. The Arctic one, when we're measuring it, is coming up uh, to just around about 275 to 280 grams. So there is obviously a difference in the weight uh, of both. So the Arctic's lighter but it's slightly bigger, um, where the Intel one's obviously heavier and smaller. But we're going to see, obviously, which one performs better. Down to testing. The testing was done on an i5 12400 Intel processor. The first test we did with this fan speed set at 50%. All tests were run for 30 minutes, and on this test we got the average temperature. For the Intel stock cooler, we got 82 degrees Celsius where the Arctic Alpine 17CO managed to get 67. So as you can see there, the Arctic cooler is a lot cooler. Now we did the same thing again, and we got the measurement of the maximum temperature the CPU went up to. And as you can see here, the Intel stock cooler got very toasty at 91 degrees Celsius. So it was very, very warm. The Arctic did very well, though. It got 75 degrees Celsius. Bear in mind, this is with the fan running at 50% speed. So it's obviously not cooling to its full potential. On the next test, we do the same thing again, but we set the fan speed to 100%. So as you can see here, the Intel stock cooler did a lot better this time at 69 degrees, but the Arctic Alpine 17 CO did really well and came in 8 degrees cooler at 61 degrees. I'm actually quite surprised considering it's actually a lighter cooler. There's no copper in it or anything like that. It just shows that they've designed it very well and it outperforms the Intel stock cooler. Next one, same again, fan 100%, but we're getting the maximum temperature instead of the average. On here, we, the Intel stock cooler went up to 76 degrees, and the Arctic Alpine 17CO went down to 69 degrees. So overall, the cooler performs very well, especially for the price point. I can't really complain. If you're wanting something slightly better than an Intel stock cooler, well, I say slightly, a lot better than an Intel stock cooler, 
then this could be the cooler you're looking for. It may not look as nice, to be honest with you, but it does give you a nice bit of performance. And bear in mind, it is the CO version, which means you can use it non-stop and you shouldn't have a problem because of the continuous operation mode. I hope you enjoyed that video. I know I did. If you're interested in looking at over Arctic reviews we've done in the past, click this box up here. Or you could click this box just down here and you'll be able to see other cooling products we've reviewed in the past. Or you could just give us a thumbs up, comment below, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, we will see you next time.